spark to the power of force. Okay, so now we have everything. So let's let's start our calculation. Yeah, let's calculate the 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 sample kurtosis. Yeah, okay. how peaked or how flat is this particular distribution from a numerical perspective? Okay, so now we can actually do the calculation. So what I'll do is I'll just rewrite down my formula. Okay, I'll just rewrite it down. The kurtosis, the sample, the sample kurtosis, kurtosis. Right. The formula is that K is equal to it's n times n plus 1, which needs to be divided by n minus 1, the sample size minus 1, times the sample size minus 2, times the sample size minus 3. And that particular factor is multiplied by the sum of the f's times the x minus the x bars to the power of 4, which needs to be divided by the standard deviation to the power of 4, minus, it's minus 3 times, 3 times the sample size minus 1, which needs to be squared, which needs to be divided by the sample size minus 2 times the sample size minus minus 3. Okay? And we know our sample size. We know our sample size is equal to 50. So what we end up with here is that k must be equal to 50 times, well, 50 plus 1 is 51. And that needs to be divided by 50 minus 1 is 49 times 48 times 47. Okay? So we have that factor. Okay, that needs to be multiplied by the sum of the frequencies times the x's minus the x bars to the power of 4. Now we've already done that calculation. We know that the sum of the frequencies times the x's minus the x bars to the power of 4 is 18,440,786. So what we need to put in here is it's 18,440,786. And 786, 786. And that needs to be divided by the standard deviation raised to the power of 4. And we calculate our standard deviation. We calculate our standard deviation to be 19.6. So it's going to be 19.6, 19.6 raised to the power of 4. Okay? Minus 3 times the sample size minus 1. So it's 3 times 49 squared which needs to be divided by the sample size minus 2 is going to be 48 times the sample size minus 3 is going to be 47, okay? So this is all this boils down to, yeah, is to actually do this particular calculation. So what we'll do is we just do this uh, factor over here, which is 50 times 51, gives us a value. I'm going to divide that by 49, gives us a value, divided by 48, gives us a value, and I'm going to divide it by 47, which gives us the factor it's 0 0.02314 to four decimal places. So k is equal to 0 0.02314 to four decimal places. And that needs to be multiplied by this factor here, which is 18,440,786, which needs to be divided by 19.6 raised to the power of 4, raised to the power of 4. And that gives us a value of 124.9. I say 124.9, should I, I've gone to four decimals just to here, just to keep this, just to keep this, uh, that there's actually an effect, okay? So this, but this is times 124.9554, if I'm going to be consistent, 9554. And what I need to take away from that is this value here, which is 3 times 49 to be squared, which needs to be divided by 48 which needs to be divided by 47, which gives us a value of 3.12, sorry, 3.1928. So we take away, we'll take away 3.1928. This is actually a standardizing factor, yeah, here for us, yeah, okay? Um, a, a, a normal distribution is said to have kurtosis of three, and when we take this away, this value here will be, will be baselined off zero. So actually what we end up with is we end up with our kurtosis K is equal to uh, 0 0.0, 231 times 124.9554 that gives us a value minus 3.1928 which gives us a value of minus 0 0.3063 to four decimal places okay so what does this mean well as i said a moment ago okay a a norm typically okay if we just do the calculation, yeah, typically a normal distribution, yeah, okay, has a kurtosis of 3, 
But this particular formula has a normalization factor, which 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 normalizes uh, to so that we're 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 we're, we're, we're baseline things off 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 zero. So what we're going to have is we're going to have let's say the black one is the normal distribution and what we have is the red one is a lepto curve and maybe the blue one is a platy curve i don't know maybe it's something like this who knows okay who knows maybe it's something like that okay so the black one the black one has a kurtosis equal to zero the red one has a kurtosis that is greater than zero and the blue one has a kurtosis the blue one has a kurtosis that's less than zero okay so when we compare this value here we're always comparing we're making a comparison okay we always compare well compare this to normality to a normal to a normal curve okay with air transformation here the k for the normal curve is going to be equal to zero okay uh, so we're comparing this to a normal curve and you see it's negative yeah so actually what we have is air distribution is flat so our our distribution air distribution uh, as represented as represented okay uh true true the group frequency distribution the grouped frequency distribution air distribution is 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 flatter it's flatter than a normal than a normal than a normal curve okay so that's it guys that's how we estimate the sample kurtosis in a later video what we'll do is actually we'll test the significance of our sample sample kurtosis and we'll also test the significance of our sample skewness okay we'll do a hypothesis test in other words okay guys uh, once again this was jonathan lambert with the mathematics development and support service at the national college of ireland and i hope that this video was in some way intuitive and more importantly i do hope it was helpful for you and thanks for watching okay bye bye